Hey my cookies, today I'll be showing you how to prepare the creamiest red beans in a crock pot. I'm so excited to share this recipe. All right, let's cook. In a previous tutorial, I already showed you guys how to sort and rinse red beans or beans in general. So I'll link that down below if you need that, but we're gonna do a quick soak. So what I'm doing is just pouring in some water over my beans in a pot and we're gonna bring it to a boil once it reaches the boil, we're gonna turn the heat off and allow the beans to soak in that water for 25 minutes, okay? After it has soaked for 25 minutes, drain the water off the beans and set them aside. Now I'm going to brown my sausage. I'm using sausage, you can use whatever meat you like. If you wanna use smoked meat, you can do that. But I'm browning my sausage, it looks burnt, but I promise you it's not, it just rendered all that good flavor. So once our sausage has browned for about five minutes, remove them from the skillet and place in your bell pepper, onion, and celery. So just dice those up and toss them in that same pan with all of the drippings. We're gonna saute the veggies. Now, as you're sauteing, you'll see that that fond, that's the drippings and all that good flavor that's stuck to the bottom of the pan, it will begin to lift up and combine with the vegetables. So you'll have so much flavor. As you can see, it lifted all up and the pan is now clean. So once you've sauteed for about three to four minutes, go ahead and turn that heat off and let's move over to the crock pot. I'm gonna spray my crock pot with nonstick cooking spray like always. And now we basically dump everything in. So I'm adding in those drained beans, my sausage, and those sauteed veggies. Now I'm gonna add in the water. I don't use a lot of water. You only need about five cups. That's the mistake that a lot of people make when um, cooking red beans or beans in a slow cooker. They use too much water and then they're soupy and it doesn't get creamy. So don't need too much water. And to that, I'm gonna add in bouillon cubes. I'm using chicken flavored bouillon cubes. And lastly, I'm gonna add in some onion powder. I'm not gonna add my Cajun seasoning in just yet because you don't wanna put too much sodium into the beans initially because salt can tend to um, prevent the beans from softening during the cooking process. So yeah, there is sodium in the chicken bouillon cubes, but not enough to cause any harm, okay? So just stir it all together really well. Then we're gonna cover it with the lid and cook on high for four hours. After four hours, y'all, the house smells so doggone good. Give it a good stir and you'll see that the beans have softened. They've gotten bigger. So now you can add in your Cajun seasoning or seasoning salt, whatever you prefer. I left that out. I don't know where that clip went. I'm sorry, but do it to taste. So add it in, stir it up. Now the important part, add in some butter. This is the secret to creamy red beans, okay? Stir in your butter. It also adds a nice flavor too, guys. All right, so put the lid back on and we are going to cook again on high for one hour. After that hour, guys, look at our beans. Look at it, good stuff, it's, oh my God. I just can't wait for you to make this so that you can smell it, all right, it's serious. All right, get to the point, Coop. So stir it again, you can see that it has thickened some, but we need them thicker and creamier. So for this last hour, yeah, one more hour to go, guys, we're gonna cook it uncovered on high, one additional hour, don't put the lid on. And then cookies, look at this, look, look. come on, Jesus. God did it, God is good, God is good. All right, y'all, creamy red beans in the crock pot, boom. The recipe link down there in the description box. Thank you, my cookies, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give your girl a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell. Don't forget your rice. It is time to eat. I love you guys so much. Until next time, be blessed.